you took. I took a picture last time they swatted me like this, and it had like a million views on Twitter, uh, and it was her and a bunch <laughs> of other people. And she said, yeah, I was actually in that photo or like around that. I don't know if, I think she was actually in the photo. I have to go back and look. She was talking like she was in it. She said, I remember you. And she was trying to remember some of the other officers' names. Uh, so yeah, that literally just happened. Richmond police, man, what? are great to me. You trying to fuck with me with the Richmond police? You're fucking mistaken. Because uh, I, I talked feel bad to now. Last time I talked I to joking. Richmond police. So I, I remember th there was a knock at the door when I was in synagogue many, many, many years ago when I was a little raunchier than I am today. And uh, so I, I go to the door and open it up, but it's a policeman and he, he's come to the synagogue for some reason. So, you know, I, I open the door for him. I bring him in. He remembered me. <clears throat> then, okay, I didn't really have a lot of privacy where I was living at the time. And so my, my girlfriend had this station wagon. And so we were looking to get reacquainted with each other. And so we just, we just went over to the synagogue parking lot this is many years ago this is like you know when when my life was a little bit more dicey and so we were getting a little bit more comfortable you know we removed all our clothes we we're in the back of the, the station wagon and then like meh, meh, like <sighs> police siren right police police siren i mean it, it wasn't it's not pleasant right it, it's not erotic I mean, I, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to have a, a a nice time with with my girlfriend, and like the the police are rolling up on us, and like you know we're scrambling, scrambling to get our clothes on. And it's like, oh my god, it's in the it's in the synagogue parking lot, and I mean, how, how am I going to explain this? This is going to be awkward, and and we're just like. <laughs> We're getting our clothes on, and the police have rolled up on us. And we come outside, and thank the good Lord, it's the same police officer who I had let into the synagogue a couple of days before. So I didn't get arrested. I didn't get charged. I got, you know, a, a, a perfect record, like I'm a law-abiding bloke. I didn't do anything wrong. He He recognized my inherent goodness even though the situation was a little bit tawdry. And it's like, I, I was a little secure, insecure in my Judaism then. I was like, oh, what's this going to do to my reputation in the Jewish community? Uh, just imagine getting arrested for, for lewdness in, in a synagogue parking lot. But this was like way, way, way long, decades ago. I mean, I'm, I'm not like that anymore. But uh, thank the good Lord. I was in synagogue a few nights before, and I'd opened the door for the nice policeman. And so... When when he rolled up on me now, he 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 understood that uh, everything that was happening was was kosher, even if it looked a little disturbing. At least they were scoffing at the bullshit charges uh, that were being filed against me and and saying how I was gonna you know uh, be fine, don't worry about it, reassuring me on the way to jail. Basically, the last time I talked to the Richmond police, uh, and now here I was joking with them again. And I mean, basically, all you guys do is make me more money every time and help me out <laughs> that you send the Richmond police here. So anyway, shout out to the RPD here, the capital <laughs> of Virginia. So. Anyway, I didn't yeah, take I'm a, a good boy now. Clothes, but there was another cop. I didn't know if he was like cool doing the whole like clam like I did with the last one. I was telling the blonde cop, uh, blonde cop, uh, that the last one. I mean, it kind of looked like, almost like an ad for the Richmond Police Department. Uh, with the well, I think they were trying to criminalize my sexuality. That that that's what I think was going on. It was it was it was anti-Semitism. Like so many people wanted to criminalize my sexuality. Like oh, forty, he loves too much. He's just way too radically inclusive. But uh, the important thing to know is that I, I'm a good boy now, All right? Yeah, I was targeted for being Jewish. I mean, I, we were going at things in a particularly Zionistic, you know, perspective. We were using Zionist positions. We were like, completely turning our back on the West Bank, and uh, we were we were making our own Aliyah, and then. And then the popo roll up on us. I mean, here I am. Like, I'm a very respectable man. People look up to me. Here I got the popo rolling up on me, and I'm literally caught with my pants down. All right? I, I, I'm caught. And, and, and the popo are there, and they're trying to criminalize my sexuality. The way I put it out there, I might have to pull that one up later. Anyway, I'm back. Thank you, police, for not for not shooting me. I was also joking, like, well, it's usually, it's usually funny, you know, as long as you guys come in cool, you know, you don't come in just uh, guns a blazing, uh, and they don't, so that's cool. Uh, anyway, thank you to whoever called it in. Uh, and there, can I show it? Yeah. Okay. I was joking when I said you were getting swatted. I had no idea you were actually getting swatted. No, I literally was getting swatted. <laughs> I, I knew I knew it was a swat. Yeah, I'd already known that I was, was a swat. 
That's why I was like, oh, God, because you always have to deal with it. Yeah, there there it is. There's the Super Chat Mobile uh, right there. There's actually a camera there, too, as well. So that's another reason I knew, because I can, like, pull it up on my phone. So, I don't know. How'd you yeah, that, that was just trying to criminalize heterosexuality. Like, 40 is like the living, walking, talking embodiment of heterosexuality. And as heterosexuality gets stigmatized, even criminalized, you know, don't be surprised when, when 40... You know, 40 cops at first, but am I discouraged? Am I bitter? Am I unhappy?